Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for you Hello guys, how y'all doing? It's Tiki is at the Ponderosa this morning And she gonna do uh, Married to Medicine, okay? Good morning guys, good morning, good, good morning, good morning, good morning Miss Quan, Miss Quan She's got it. She's got it. I like how it started off this morning. I mean, last night, basically. And it has everything that's going on with the girls. You had Mariah with her daughter showing her how to cheer. She busted wide open and she dropped it on the ground. I said, hi. Do that shit, girl. You got Miss Quad talking to the girls at the sister circle, basically saying that she can't deal with, you know, the girls over there because they're judgmental and she just Ain't got time for the drama and the bullshit, okay? We got Dr. Jackie. Everybody that moved to um, Atlanta, they go see Dr. Jackie. Okay, Miss, um, I, th I think that was Eva, the one on Real Housewives of Atlanta, when she was pregnant. And I'm like, why everybody come see Dr. Jackie and nobody's coming for Dr. Simone? Dr. Simone, I think they see you on there being ghetto, and uh, they probably scared to deal with your ass, but it is what it is, and we got Dr. Heavenly that's going through what she's going through in life, and that's learning to control her mouth, her temper, her anger, whatever she's calling it this time, okay? So, basically, Dr. Heavenly, they shooting a scene, and... Um, her daughter, Laura, is there. And Dr. Heavenly come in and say, you want to do a cheer mode for me? Laura like, no, not today, okay? <laughs> I, I, I ain't having it. David walks in from work in his scrubs. Everybody talk about how he's always in the scrubs. And Dr. Heavenly like, hey, daddy, you know, I got something to tell you. And he like, what? And he like, uh, <laughs> you know, I was uh, over there talking to this girl. This girl, I don't know what's wrong with her. But she said, you know, that you cheated on me. And you got a lot of women and she got receipts. And Damon was sitting there looking like, bitch, bitch, what? I got, what? Che cheating on you? Oh, my God. And he was like, why would Mariah say something like that? No matter what has happened in life, I have never, ever talked about Mariah and her husband. So why would she do something like that? And uh, Dr. Heavenly stood up and said, Daddy, you know, I know you ain't cheating on me, but I'm just bringing it to your attention. But, you know, this is what she said. And uh, me and this bitch are going to fight. The rest of the season, because I don't appreciate you saying my husband cheating on me and you got receipts, okay? Hmm. Get it how you live, okay? We got Dr. Contessa and her family, okay? Dr. Contessa claims she done went back part-time, but she talking about things that's going on at the um, doctor's office. And they sitting there chitting chat her and her hubby and the kids in the kitchen eating. And once she look up over there, she got the baby and she patting in the back and she like, she choking, she choking. It. He jump up. She said, uh-uh, I got this, honey. She do that hemlock and she grab that food and throw it out her mouth. And, and she said, you sweep their mouth and that's what you don't do. You don't panic. And I'm sitting there like, bitch, I would have been on the floor screaming. Ah, somebody call the paramedics. Ah, my baby choking. I had an incident like that when my son was young. He stopped breathing. I called the paramedics. And they said, shut up. Quit crying. Put your mouth over his mouth and his mouth over his mouth and his nose and breathe. And I'm doing what they're telling me, giving my baby CPR. And by that time, the paramedics had made it to the door. They admitted my son. He was he premature, his lungs and whatever, whatnot. And you know what? My baby got asked for bad, but uh, it is what it is. So Dr. Contessa handled that shit like it wasn't no problem. She talked about how her dad, her stepdad father-in-law whatever he's been in her life all her life she don't know probably nothing about her real dad but um he's gotten really sick and he's not telling her what's going on she says she knows more he's gonna come visit but around the time that he's gonna visit tacky toya tacky toya is throwing a birthday party for herself and um she may not make it so anyway y'all we get the doc tacky toya Toya and her husband, Toya's so supportive this year. Um, Dr. G, uh, Dr. Eugene, he got a, um, what you call that, a promotion. And it's time for Toya's birthday, okay? Every year she throws some lavish 
And uh, Dr. Contessa have been kind of talking about it like, bitch, you always spending money. You don't work. You don't do nothing. Dr. Heavily always saying, yeah, she support her husband. But what do she do? She should be supportive. And they all kicking our ass about being a stay-at-home mom. Um, I guess Mariah just don't want to work. You know, it is what it is. If her husband happy with it, then let her set up that booty ass at home and continue to drag you hoes and uh, keep it keep it 1,000. So anyway, uh, Dr. Contessa Father is coming in town. It's around the time. Toya throwing a birthday party and it's getting ready to go down. Toya, Toya, Toya. Toya is kind of, you know, she's happy. Her hubby done got a promotion, and it's her birthday, so she go to this guy, this party, you know, whatever, creator, and she tells him, you know, I want to do something, and he's, you know, a great person in town. She's like, my theme, I wanted to be doctors and nurses, and, you know, he take her to his event. He's a um, party planner. He take her to his event house or whatever and he let her pick out all kind of things and this doctor you know they're gonna wear doctor scrubs and jackets and everything dealing with a doctor she said but instead of celebrating herself she want to celebrate her husband he never likes to really you know he never get a celebration for things that go on and she want to honor him for her birthday so the plan is it's supposed to be her party, but she's going to surprise Dr. Eugene and turn it around to make it a party for him. So everybody's invited, okay? All the girls. All the girls are supposed to be on board, okay? All aboard. Hey, you dropped the bomb on me. Hey, baby, you dropped the bomb on me, but you turned me on. So I uh, told you like I call quad. I invited Miss Quad. Miss Quad said, I'm going to try to make it, but I can't guarantee you that I might make it. And um, her and her husband is having a discussion like, uh, Dr. G will come around when it's just us, but he's not going to come around when y'all there because he don't want to be dealing with y'all judging him. Both person, Quad and Dr. G feel like they're going to be judged when they come around because Dr. Jackie and Curtis went through such a fucking drama last season. She don't want to go through it. So that's why Miss Squad is staying off the camera. Miss Squad, Miss Squad got some more money coming in. Miss Squad ain't studying y'all. And she's still getting money for um, marriage to medicine coming over there watching her sit and talk about these hoes, okay? Because that's basically what she's doing. She's just sitting with another group of women talking about the other group of women. And I don't think she should do that, you know. Y'all my true sisters. Y'all my true family. Y'all don't judge me. And I'm like, oh, okay. So... And Toya's kind of taking that heart because Toya feel like they were friends. So, it is what it is. Y'all, Dr. Uh, Simone and the shit that's going on with her and uh, Cecil, I see a divorce. I'm sorry. They still living in separate houses. Some people say it's good that they're working on a marriage. You cannot. I feel like Toya. You cannot work on a marriage and y'all live in two separate homes. Um, Dr. Simone showing up with a big picture for him to put on the wall so he could feel, you know, it's sexy, alleged. I mean, it was supposed to be sexy. It's beautiful, beautiful picture. She want him to hang it in his room so he could look at her all the time. He talking about, why should I look at you? I, I need to hit it. I need to, ha, ha, ha. I need to do that thing, do that thing. Hey. <laughs> so anyway, she bring this big ass picture of her ass and try to put it on the wall. He kind of like take it, play like he want to hang it, but he's saying, I want to have some. They haven't had sex in a long time. So I'm like, Dr. Simone, if you want this marriage to work, because you keep calling this counselor, he said, what you going to do after we uh, quit calling the counselor? We got to be able to work on our problems ourselves. We've been together for 21 years. And I'm like, Cecil, do you or don't you want the marriage to work? Okay. What, what, what is it? So they still doing this counseling, this lady telling them what to do, what not to do, whatever, what not. See, so like, fuck this shit. Either you're going to give me some or you're not. I'm getting tired of this, you know? So my personal opinion with Cecil and Dr. Simone, if they don't get it together soon, I see a divorce. I see a divorce. I see, I see Dr. Simone is just not in it anymore. She, she's not there. The kids are basically almost grown and gone. 
I can see she just basically dealt with him. She keeps saying that he does not communicate well. He's very stubborn. He says she's stubborn. And it looks like they are not going to give. And I think the marriage is almost over. I think they, they had the beginning. They had the middle. And they're heading toward the end. And I'm sorry with my scenario on life, but every relationship I feel, you got the beginning when it's just beautiful. Everybody putting their uh, best foot forward. You don't know nothing about them. The middle, that's when y'all either get together, you live together, you learn each other, you're sitting there scratching your head trying to figure out what the hell did I get into. And the end, I don't care if it's 10, 20 years later, it's like I can't deal with this shit. You fooled me. I don't want to be a part of it. And peace, I'm out. And that's how I feel what's going on with Dr. Simone and Cecil, okay? Go ahead, filing papers, and let's get it popping. And, and, and Miss Quad, she losing it on camera. Cecil, I seen you dance with another woman. Sign the papers, sign the papers. I'm like, ooh, Miss Quad, <laughs> must she be so ghetto? <laughs> Woo! But when I seen the... Um, the previews of what's gonna happen next week with mariah and miss squad i was like oh my god y'all know i'm screaming but i was just like oh is that get ready to fight oh yes i'm like go go get it get it and when you get it get it Ooh. <laughs> but i look like it's gonna be on it popping y'all next week okay it was a little bit dry on a scale from 1 to 10, I get married to medicine this week. I eight because everybody was getting along, doing a good job. Toya threw the party. Everybody showed up except for Dr. Contessa. Toya was so pissed off and mad. She get on the mic and start acting a damn fool, showing out. Very, very, very tacky. Very tacky. Her husband even said, you being tacky. Dr. Heavenly didn't make it no better. She calls a Dr. Contessa on the phone and hands her the phone and Toya puts the girl on speaker and she's like, oh, how's your dad? And she's like, oh, okay, well, thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And passive aggressively, she hang up the telephone in her face. And if I would have seen that whole attack next time I seen her, because Dr. Tony Scott, whatever his name is, Dr. Contessa's husband, already said her daddy here, he's sick, she tired, she sat at the airport long. They kept delaying his flight. That's her first priority. I'm here to represent. Bitch, what is your problem? Dr. Contessa, when she did next week, said, bitch, give me 50 feet at all times. I was like, yes, 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 yes. But uh, next week looks like it's going to be on and popping. Dr. Contessa's not going to take her shit. Dr. Toya feel like Dr. Contessa don't like her because she always got some slick shit to say. And it's going to be on and popping. Dr. Eugene did not appreciate Toya acting tacky, and he kept saying, you out of line. You don't have to do that. You out of line. You out of line. You out of line. Everybody hid in the house, wherever the event was, and when Dr. Eugene walked in, everybody had on their scrubs and their little nurse outfits and candy stripes, and they said, surprise, and he's like, what the fuck y'all saying surprise to me? Uh, it's Toya's birthday, but it was a surprise for him and his promotion. I thought that was beautiful. And I really enjoyed that part. But it looked like next week, it's going to be on and popping. And you guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Follow me over there on IG, Tiki44. Snapchat, Tiki44. And everybody, y'all have a lucky day. Thanks for sliding through. Bye, guys.